Hi, my name is Faisal Hussain. I'm a University of Washington professor in civil environmental engineering. And I teach and do research on water environmental issues using satellites that hover around us to find out how much water we have or will have in the future. 15 years ago, as a little college kid, I once made a little video on a Van Halen soundtrack called Right Here, Right Now where I wanted to introduce to my fellow friends in the U.S. in five minutes the real champion spirit of my native country called Bangladesh. Fast forward 12 years later in 2012, I was applying for a Fulbright position through the United States Department of State and I was also able to ask from NASA a little bit more money to then partner with a local film production house in Bangladesh called 19 Film Factory. These are a bunch of incredibly talented film folks in Bangladesh who really make high quality films, docu fictions, docu dramas. And we were able to create our first docu fiction called Rising Tide. Whoever has had a chance to see it, especially from the scientific community, they kept us telling, you know, you should keep going at this, you should keep doing it. And so we felt even more inspired. The story there in Rising Tide was that using a fictional theme and a storyline, we wanted to present and we wanted people to think in a very short span of time, so less than 10 minutes, what the potential benefit, the game-changing benefit these satellites could have for managing disasters or anything related to water that has impact far beyond a few individuals. So I think it did manage to do that and we got into this new genre of filmmaking that I believe uh, neither the Discovery Channel or the traditional documentary channels or even the independent filmmaking industry is addressing. Movies on science either in a documentary or docufiction format that's about a 10-15 minute feature long but really inspiring the scientific community to step a little bit forward to go beyond the usual realm of doing things which is basically publishing papers and teaching and um, making great presentations and try to connect it to the other end of societal use, the end user. So we call it the last mile. Historically this connection over that last one mile where you have this great research and you have this great need that can impact millions, in this case water, through satellites. So we did make one such uh, movie, which is our second movie called Bay of Hope, was released in March 2015. And I'm very pleased to let you folks know that it is now a strong contender in the 8th Eco Film Festival in Kuala Lumpur in October of this year. So in this Kickstarter project, um, we, uh, as in me and my uh, friends at 19 Film Factory in Bangladesh, are hoping to raise about 15,000 US dollars to make our third movie that we are calling Cotton, Burgers and Water. We hope to show the parallel lives of a researcher in the United States doing research on a very important issue, which is water using satellites on a different region that really needs that research to be applied. So the funds that we are hoping to raise here, which is $15,000, will be spent entirely on sponsoring the travel of a two-member crew from 19 Film Factory to spend uh, a week or 10 days in Pakistan to follow the life of a Pakistani farmer who grows cotton and also the life of a U.S. researcher who does research on the groundwater that is used to produce cotton in the United States. In closing, I read somewhere a quotation that Science without engineering is just philosophy. And engineering without science is just a hobby. Our hope is that this movie called Cotton, Burgers and Water will be able to bring that message out, especially for those of us, the big community that is working on issues of water, food, energy, sustainability, climate, using a lot of satellite remote sensing technology. And I hope once we complete this movie, it will really uh, be a real call to arms for our scientific academic community. Thank you so much.